Hello my lovelies, this is Anastasia and another shopping come shopping video with me today. Uh, my wardrobe resolution and my style resolution for this year is to make purchases that would not compromise your financial wealth as well. So making very conscious decisions about what you're getting, what colors you go for, what materials you go for, what are the fits that are best for you. I think it's very important to keep your wardrobe curated. I hope you're following me because you have similar features or height and what i want to do is to bring a lot of value to you so i'm gonna go and try different uh, jackets and outerwear today and uh, the shops that are available at dubai mall and i'm gonna insert some of the others um just to help you uh, make choices because we are all able to shop online i don't always find that it's the best as you can't always see the composition and how the fabrics fits and how it looks on a particular body frame so I'll give you my measurements and my height here I'm medium tall I'm not super tall so not all the profiles and shapes work for me but of course we all want to have very powerful and fresh wardrobe look and when I was doing my wardrobe analysis I figured that I could take two items and if I could take two items out of my wardrobe that I'm not particularly in love and I know what what is slightly wrong with them like some of the materials some of the cuts and if I can blend them into one fresh new item that would work for the same function to me that would be amazing so follow me uh, today and don't forget to like this content uh, to help me grow my channel my first destination is another stories where you can find great wardrobe staples in a budget they also also good for medium term trends if you're looking for that. In this episode, I'm going to cover all types of outerwear, blazers, jackets, trench coats, some bombers. All items are going to be linked. Some items are made in multiple shades, like this gorgeous jacket. I'm gonna try the one that is most suitable for my complexion, but I'll leave you the link for all of the other options if they are available. So here's my small selection, just 9 to 10 items this time around. Let's do blazers first. I was on a hunt for a really smart looking blazer that fits the budget. Smart and modern looking, definitely not oversized. I like blazers that have slightly more room so I could wear it with a liner like here. I added the hoodie for warmth because it's spring and you usually need that. But of course I want it to be more fitted at the waist. I'm over the very oversized look in blazers. This is a single button, slightly asymmetrical waistline. Really nicely placed pockets, cute slit detail on the sleeve. Material looks nice and expensive and I think it would wear well and be quite practical. Here is the back side. Nice hourglass shape with slightly pointed shoulders. There's no slit on the back, but there are some on the sides for movement. Slightly longer than your regular blazer, which makes such a good seasonal piece here. I'm opening the blazer to show you how the fabric looks and how it moves and feels. There is a cute chest pocket for important things, nice and secure. I've actually now realized I never use these pockets on blazers that I have. Maybe I don't have them. Are definitely functional pockets on the sides. Just make sure you open them when you purchase the blazer. Again, throughout our glass waistline is very gorgeous and I love the fit and the proportion. My next item is a denim jacket. We've been making a comeback. This one is a medium wash, quite similar to the one I saw at H&M. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, check out my other video. This one is definitely crafted with a lot more care and attention to detail. All the sizes I'm trying on are extra small, unless dated otherwise. It's a slightly vintage wash, medium but on a lighter side. Nicely finished on the inside and it's hip length giving illusion of the longer legs, but it's not too cropped. Still has a modern fit, not too tight or loose. My next item is a crop turned jacket. I think it's such a cute and clever option, especially for car drivers, because traditional trench coats aren't convenient for when driving long distances. The shade is beige with a hint of greenish tones, not too warm, just how I like it. There are very beautiful details on the sleeves with elegantly placed buttons. It's slightly oversized, giving it a cute, relaxed look. 
The color has a uh, cute details that runs through the front and back, which add an interesting touch. It might add volume if you're really skinny and you want to look fuller, but that's not too overwhelming. Let's look at the inside. Nicely placed inner pockets and really good finishes throughout the coat. A second set of buttons if you want to wear it more securely. My next jacket is this khaki green, giving me very European Isabel Moran vibes. It might be not my best color, but look how cute is this. Definitely more of a trendy piece than timeless, but some people do consider it timeless and I think it will make a great vintage piece. It's a very nicely made with overstitching. I love the silver button details. They add a little touch of energy. The inside is also made well with cute oversized shoulders. They're not too exaggerated so they won't make your shoulders look enormous. It would definitely elevate my outfit with statement glasses or plain sneakers or boots. The darker green definitely looks good with black accessories. I like how it looks with the white layer. It brightens up the face area so much. Such a cute color combination. Loving it. My next item is a beige, very light denim jacket, like cotton denim, slightly curved cut in a shoulder and the chest area. It beautifully adds some volume, if that's what you're looking for. It gives me a very 70s, 80s mood, like ABBA. Nice gathering on the back makes a beautiful waistline. The color is very soft and it gives it a very feminine feel. Let me show you another angle and how it closes. It's not super complicated, just slide it through and out again. Doesn't have side pockets, just the ones on the chest. I would totally wear it if I lived in a country with a real springtime. It is quite short so I'm not sure if it would work with layered pieces but it's definitely gorgeous. My next item is a more classic shaped bomber jacket in shiny khaki fabric. Some greens are a bit too shiny or too light. This one is nicely balanced. It's nice from many angles. Looks less shiny and has slightly gathered look, giving you a relaxed appearance. These are functional pockets throughout and I like this small cute slip pocket. It's probably great for keys. I just can't get over how well this green works with black accessories. Now I'm trying on two trench coats. They're the same style but different colors. First is the black one, very textured, cute fabric. It's oversized in terms of width, but the details are slim and nicely proportioned. Love the belt and the double calf detail on the sleeves, the row of buttons in the front. The top of the sleeves is balloon shaped and the length is quite long with side slits for ease of movement. The next is the ivory trench coat. It's the same style as the black one, but in light beige, almost ivory color. It has the same feel of the fabric, slightly textured, the relaxed fit and belt would definitely be a great choice for blondes. The belt has a buckle, but it's also very easy to just tie it in the front, or you can even tie it on the back to create a better waistline. I often feel that trench coats are the closest thing we have to 18th century period garments with so many details on the garment. They are truly pieces of art and some of them are quite significant. I know how much work goes into designing trench coats so I really appreciate when it's done well. Just checking if the black accessories would work with the color of this trench coat. I guess they do. One more to go. I hope you love the selection. And this is my last piece, trench coat in melange grey with much thicker fabric and a bit more classic look. It has beautiful details on the sleeves with a scotch detail going from front to the back. Yeah, I just found these cute sunglasses, decided to try them on. I'm not decided if they go well here, but I think that's the look. You can see the texture of the fabric better. It's slightly melange, so looks cute and very practical. I hope you guys love the selection. Items are gonna be linked and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!